Hello and welcome to Lent with St. Edith Stein. This is Rebecca and I am so glad you could join us today. This podcast is brought to you by St. Edith Stein Co. So please be sure to check out our website at stedithsteinco.com. This podcast is a series of short reflections based on the writings of St. Edith Stein. Just little nuggets of philosophy to help you on your way during Lent. So let's begin with a prayer that St. Edith wrote. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O my God, fill my soul with holy joy, courage, and strength to serve you. Enkindle your love in me, and then walk with me along the next stretch of road before me. I do not see very far ahead, but when I have arrived where the horizon now closes down, a new prospect will open before me, and I shall meet it with peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In her essay, The Ethos of Women's Professions, St. Edith Stein wrote, Many of the best women are almost overwhelmed by the double burden of family duties and professional life, or often simply of only gainful employment. Always on the go, they are harassed, nervous, and irritable. Where are they to get the needed inner peace and cheerfulness in order to offer stability, support, and guidance to others? It's hard to believe that this was written a century ago, especially since apparently St. Edith used me as a case study. But finding work-life balance hasn't gotten any easier in that time. We try to be everything to everyone and can't find fulfillment anywhere. And the thought of adding just one more task to our daily list is completely overwhelming. St. Edith suggested that too many women try to be just like a man in their careers. Even in the convent, she saw nuns who struggled to work while keeping up with the duties of their orders. Constantly suppressing our feminine natures for the sake of productivity drives us into burnout. So where can we find the strength to keep going at such a breakneck pace? We need rest, but we need authentic rest. And Netflix binges and TikTok marathons do nothing to recharge our souls. Yet we make time for those things, hoping that they'll give us a chance to recharge, but at the same time knowing that they never do. The answer is, of course, in the sacraments. We must spend time with Jesus daily in relationship, not only giving him our cares and our woes, but giving him our hands and our feet as well. And this is how we nourish and refresh our souls each day. We have to empty ourselves out so that he can fill us up with his strength. And that means letting go of our own wishes and desires and surrendering ourselves to him. And then we'll be open to receive him. We'll be open to receive what he wants us to do each day, what he's asking of us each day. St. Edith wrote, When we entrust all the troubles of our earthly existence confidentially to the divine heart, we are relieved of them. Then our soul is free to participate in the divine life. We must form our lives in the context of eternity. And by doing so, we release ourselves from the weight of our earthly desires. When we let go of our own wishes and our own desires, those things that don't matter in the context of eternity, we don't have to carry the weight of them anymore. And then we have a much clearer perspective on what is important when we walk with Jesus and surrender ourselves to him as a handmaid. The life of an authentic Catholic woman is liturgical and is not meant to be undertaken alone. Even if we don't have a supportive community with us, we can and we should make every effort to pray with the church and bring liturgical observances to life in our homes. We can do this through daily mass readings and observance of the feast days of saints, even if it's just a short reflection on their lives from a website or a book. 
And this gives us structure and purpose, but it also gives us a taste of the eternal in our day-to-day lives. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope that you'll continue to tune in as we reflect on the writings of St. Edith Stein throughout this Lenten season. May God bless you, and may the saints be with you.